I wanted to, or someone on, on the Discord, shout out to them, suggested that we speak about the phase that we have grown up. And I know that you used to be an emo. I wasn't, so I didn't want to talk about this before because I wanted to talk about it on here. I wasn't an emo. <laughs> Can we clear this up? I, I never went through an emo phase. Oh, what was it then? Well, what, an emo, like, what do you consider an emo phase? Because um, yours just going to be like, oh, you listen to this music. That's you, it. You listen, to, no, no, you used, you used to, you used to wear, you would wear black. You would wear a, a bracelet around your wrist that had spikes on it. I'm pretty sure we spoke about it with Freezy, you know. I'm just realizing now. We spoke and I'm about pretty certain the... that was you. <laughs> yeah, I did buy that. I bought that, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So you're calling me an emo here. Yeah. Yeah, you're the one doing the things that make nah, you an emo. I know you're not. I, I, I was just saying, I just wanted to start it off by, <laughs> uh, by you know, attacking you so that we could kick it off. Thanks, mate. Thanks. I mean, I definitely had like... Um, I don't know. I had a I had a phase where I listened to the music that my brothers listened to. Yeah, and my brothers listened to a lot more like because I was younger. Like when I was like ten, for example, no one at school really listened to that much music. If you know, like they listened to music, but not specific music. If you know what I mean? Yeah, but I, yeah, I was different. Like when I was ten, I was like gangster. <laughs> okay, but you also had a bracelet with spikes on. Uh, that was my Avril Lavigne stage, yes. <laughs> so during that period where it was like everyone kind of just listened to whatever music was popular, my brothers, either I listened to what they listened to, and that was a lot of um, Linkin Park, Fall Out Boy, that kind of, that style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the only other people I knew who listened to that stuff were people with older brothers as well. Yeah. So then that that resorted in the like... Low key emo stage, low key. Okay, got you. To be fair, yeah, like th- there was a stage where most people were like that. Dre- they dressed, but it was definitely soft, soft, like low key emo. It was not hardcore, right? Yeah, because people thought they were about that life, but they weren't about that life. No, 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 no. We always had like there was like one kid who actually is an emo, mm. and they're the ones that like it's like oh, no one else understands. <laughs> Yeah, my stage was a uh, my biggest stage was probably like the gangster rap one. Obviously, that's that's what led me to start making music, really. But um, so I'm gr- thankful for it. But I used to wear like dead baggy jeans. I would buy like adult large, extra large hoodies and wear them. Um, I yeah, I used to go around thinking I was like gangster. I remember when I my, my first like few mixtapes when I was like 13, 14. Or in fact, you've seen the picture, right? You've seen the uh, the first song I did with my friends, and we're all sat on the porch. Yes, I we, we were sat in the car wearing like sunglasses, thinking we're cool, um, and we just weren't cool. Um, and yeah, I, I was like, I was rapping about like my guns that I've got and stuff like that, <laughs> and I was like 13. <laughs> so that definitely wasn't um, accurate. But uh, I think when you're young, so, you just you just want to be. This is what I was saying about the, the Kyle Walker thing. You want to you want to be like the people you look up to, right? So I, I was looking up to Fifty Cent. So. Um, so were your friends like that as well, or did you kind of force them into this gangster life? No, nah, no, nah, my, my, my friends were in, in my, my friends were fans of the music as well. So me and my friend Will, we used to walk to school together. So we used to love a lot of like D12, Eminem, um, G Unit. We would listen to all this stuff, but he he would he would just listen to it like a normal person. He wouldn't then like try to act cool like I did. <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, but nah, yeah, nah. We, we I mean, we went, I remember I was fourteen and went to a D12 concert. Um, Eminem wasn't there. It was just it was just D12, um, and I was 14, and my dad was my dad came with us. He had to. We, we couldn't get in without him. But yeah, I, I, I I've like, been to not, one of those. You're not, you're not coming in. I said, I said you can come in, but you're not standing with us. So he had to stood at the back while me and my mate are there. But to be fair, like it was a D12 concert, and everyone in the crowd was just smoking weed. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I was like, Daddy. <laughs> I had that with uh, well, not the weed part. I had uh, that with Fall Out Boy with your dad. Go in. So me and my two mates. We're going to go see Fall Out Boy and obviously you have to take an adult if you're under it, like a certain yeah. age. So we were thinking, my dad was going to go and obviously he was there like, oh, I, I, this is like, I don't want to go on my own either. Yeah. So he ended up taking my oldest brother and they just sat like right at the back while we were further forward. <laughs> and it was just like, I think my dad ended up falling asleep. <laughs> How did you fall asleep at a concert? So loud. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I, don't you look back at that now? Like you like you were embarrassed of your parents at that point, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like not embarrassed of them, but embarrassed of going to anything with them. Only because you, yeah, what your friends would say to you. 
Yeah, but now you look back at it. Yeah, n- n- now I'm doing so much like, with my dad. I, I love going to. I, I, I would I like, rather go to a concert with my dad than one of my friends. To be honest, but that's what I mean. Like now, now I think back here and I'm like, why? Yeah, like, what? yeah. And but and it's annoying because you know, right? Mm. Your kid's gonna do the same to you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I would, I would. By the way, shout out to my dad for being so like open minded and let me like do things as a kid to then like get where I'm at now. But I would never let my kid go to a D12 concert. <laughs> never in this to this day i would not to uh, this day um, why not i i, I would i'll just go with them like that's what did. i mean like okay actually this is a question this is a controversial question i want to yeah. ask you would you let your kids swear yes uh, at a certain age not until they're like 13 14 okay so if they were 10 no, I, I would just, just I, the I, F word. I would teach them about swearing, and then, because I, I I have family who just are do not allow, allow anyone to swear. You know, it's bad. I think if you are that type of parent and you tell your kids to not do this or do that, they will rebel more. So I would just you know sit my kid down and be like, "Yo, you're gonna hear it." Because obviously, when we're growing up, like parents make you not swear, but you that you know and they know that at school it's awful. Like it's it's absolute like it's like a war zone with, yeah. the, with the language there. So I'll just like. Tell my kid, like, listen, if you're going to swear, swear with your mates, say what you want. Just don't swear to your teachers. Don't swear to your parents, you know. But don't swear at people, basically. Yeah, and don't, yeah, and don't swear as at people. As long as you don't teach call them right, innit? Exactly, yeah, exactly, man. Yeah, because I was thinking, and like, okay, with like um, movies and stuff, mm. what's, what's your take on, you know, like, say your kid who is 13 mm. wants to watch a film that is 15. Yeah, they can do that. An eighteen, um, probably. Uh, uh, not so much at eighteen. It, it, if it's got something like, if it's got stuff like, I guess, sex scenes that they don't even understand yet, probably not. Because that that's where I'm like, I, I'd like, I wouldn't. I don't think at the time, but I don't think you can actually know until you're in that scenario. Yeah, I just don't want them to be sheltered, like because I think if you do, if you do like. Sp- like force them to not do this or force them to do this, they're going to want to then rebel and then, then they're going to get yeah, caught up in the that's wrong That's the thing. worst nightmare. Yeah, I'd rather teach them like the right or wrong about the things that they're seeing or what the people are doing so that they can make their own decision and just hope that they're going to make the right decision rather than, because so many times people will make, they'll make a decision and do something that, like, it's like a, I guess a teenager or whatever, they'll do something that what they, they wouldn't normally do just to get back at their parents or just to get back at someone who's wronged them, right? Yeah. And it's like they, they, at that point they don't even really want to do that. They're just like I guess lashing out or whatever. So, yeah, I'd rather I'd rather just teach them. But with that being said, I don't I don't want them to like, you know, start watching like Saw at 12. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, if they want to go see like Fast and Furious and it's like, well, <laughs> Fast and Furious 49 <laughs> and it's a 15, then they can go do that. 